Hello and welcome back to City Skylines and the city of Doverton. So in the last episode we built this new farmland area which I put a this, this um, freight terminal into so we can help carry freight around and it is looking lovely. So we've got it here in between the motorway and stuff and the aim was to try and increase our farming area and to add zoned farming industry. If you remember, what we had in here was a lovely area of what looked like sort of barns and sheds and stuff, and very sort of gentle industry. Like what you get on the like, an edge of like a little town, sort of a area where you get like your mechanics and people would have like small warehouses for like family-run businesses and stuff. Anyway, as good as it looked, I realised when I had finished recording that I had made a bit of a mistake. I'd put lumber industry on here, on here, not farming. So that wasn't helping with our zoned industry. So I've now changed it and we've lost some of these, those nice um, uh, sort of sheds and warehouses and things. But instead we have a whole bunch of fields sort of coming in. So this looks all looks quite nice and stuff. Some, uh, silos and barns and fields and paddocks and stuff. So that's all going to be helping out. The other thing that you notice we had, know that we had, was issues with traffic coming in over here. Like this was backed up all the way, all the way down. So what I have done is I've put a roundabout in here, if you couldn't tell, and I have uh, tried to just encourage traffic to move around nice and quickly. I've made this into six lanes. We've got one dedicated turning off and then coming around, lots of options and stuff. I also tried to make it look nice and set some nice rock walls and stuff. And I feel like we are on the cusp of a crash because it's all pause. Um, I don't want to touch anything. It all seems... I don't know. We'll carry on and see if this works or not. So, yeah. I tried to get more traffic coming off here. And then what I did was try to encourage vehicles to be traveling around the outside on the highway more so i changed the speed limit to be unlimited which sort of worked it reduced the traffic here it just shuffled the problem around to the intersection over here and uh, then this one here this one here needs to fix we had a big traffic jam coming up here so I adjusted this so it's now priority for traffic coming off and coming around this way and there's two lanes turning around and that has also worked and again I made it look nice and pretty with a nice sort of rock walls in here and a couple of trees because they look pretty and were just already there and I've done all the intersection marking tool and stuff and that is I think a nice way to round off that area quickly so what I'm going to do and then we'll see what our um, see how many what our zoned industry is looking like for farm. So if we come out of that view, look in here. I believe it's that one. No, is it this one? There we go. Two thousand nine hundred and forty-eight. And there were still a few more squares over here that could fill up. So we're looking at having about three thousand squares. So we need just 2,000 more to go. And I was looking at building a little, another little sort of suburb, suburban town out over here. So we have one connection and it's going to run off here, which is what I'm going to do now. So I'll be back in a minute once we have this all along here sorted out.
Okay, so that's one intersection there done nice and easily. And I think it looks quite nice, that one. So we're just going to take this road out on a bit further on out over this way. So for being someone who's grown up in the countryside and believes I know what farmland looks like and should look like, I have another embarrassing admission to make. So you'd probably have noticed that this was this is now a slightly different colour. It was all that colour, now it's a lighter yellow. It was an oil district here, not a farming district. But because my plan was to come over here, I have swapped it over for farming. Because, well, that's what I can do. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is set this up. And I'm going to try and, and I'm going to do it in a bit of a, a, of a 50s style UK build. Where there's an awful lot of, sort of low rise housing and sort of suburbs and stuff. But they're all in sort of like straight parallel roads, which is very similar to what I've done. But I'm going to try and do it with the low rise stuff as well. And then have a more interesting centre where it gets the um, commercial and stuff coming in. But we'll, we'll wait, we'll see. We'll see how it comes out. Start off with the age old trick of using that toll to get a 90 degree angle, to get nice clean, crisp angles and stuff going. And then I'm going to build it. Although I want it all to be nice long parallel lines, I'm doing like three blocks of each. I want to have a gap in between, so I can put footpaths through. And this main road that goes through the middle, it can be a bit wiggly wobbly wooly. As, um, this is all, all the new stuff, but it's been built around the ancient road, which is just sort of going with the flow of the hills and ancient, um, field boundaries and stuff the whim of someone hundreds of years ago laying it all down really just try and get a um, train station in here when i started off building here i hadn't realized we were on quite such a hill but now i do so i've had to dig that train station in over there we have to do work out now getting this out so I pop in a nice little arch bridge over there it looks it looks good um, it sort of fits with the aesthetic of the thing, like an old small town sort of going on. And we will just carry on filling out the area as we go. Cool. And now it's time to bring the train line around and try and get this real bit connecting up. So, episode and episode ago, when we started off doing our big tomato terminal, I had a line idea. Two of them, one which was used for the intercity like out of world um, train traffic and the other one was meant for more lines that one will come over and connect up to here so we'll just cross over that abandoned line and then we'll join them all up nice and neatly cool bit of smoothie a bit of smoothage going on there smoothly smoothly and then we'll try and bring the road over to connect in a similar manner to go around and change up some of the nodes. They're all fat at the moment, and as it's on the surface slope, they're getting very janky bits of roads. But, um, we managed to sort that out, so they look nice now. Now, on top of tomato, the north of tomato, we had that this lovely intersection we put in last time. I thought we would connect off across this side, coming over this way. Could there be another country town out this way too? Maybe in a couple, actually. So it'd be nice to get that road out and joining up over here. So there we go, coming up that hill. Now we won't bother being any of the bridges, I don't think. It'd be nice having those, some of those ones with a cool structure on it, but we'll just go for a standard elevated road at this point. Come down, connect this road we started off earlier. So I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put a roundabout, well, a fancy roundabout junction with a bit of flyover in here. And I think that will look cool, be different, and, um, um, and something. Oh, it'll give us options so we can have like, it looked cool, and then we can have both roads joining in down here and stuff feeding off in different directions. Plus, it gives me guys that again to do something new to play around with the intersection marking tool again and make some pretty little junctions. We had some, we've done an awful lot of roundabouts, so now we're just trying to do 
make things more interesting. There we go, that's looking good. Cool, this is a long, a long bit of um, time lapsing going on at the moment. We're we're racing through the build, which is nice. It's a big build with a lot to get done, so this makes it more efficient. But it can, when I flick, flick the camera around a lot as I'm building it, make this quite intense and quite an eye strain to actually watch. So apologies for that, but we're getting through it, and um. I'll try and do better in the next one. So there we go, we've got our flyover going over the roundabout. Just try and connect it in to make it look nice and good. Yeah, there we go, we just jiggle it around, play with the nodes and stuff, build it in section marking tool, and I'll make that all look good again. Okay, so we have the basics of our of my new little town sort of set up. So over here, this is what I said was like the nice parallel roads, um, which will be where it's all like the newer builds, as I would term it in a town like this. I mean, they would probably still date back to like the 50s or something. So really, still not that new at all. And then as we come across, once I get this bit of footpath in here because I put footpaths in between quite a lot over here we have what I would term the older town, you've got the train station and stuff and it's a bit more wiggly and stuff and would have probably date back a, a long way but what I think would be nice is in here if we have like a nice focal point of our town so I was thinking if we take this tax office it would look a bit like maybe we'll have like a town hall or a village hall sort of thing Take you, just position you in the middle there a little bit. There we go. And we'll fence off around there and have like the grounds for the halls and stuff. So, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off actually by doing some of the commercial. So, we'll do commercial around here and along like this main road. There will also be small sort of central commercial district in here. And then the rest of this, or a lot of this, will now just be residential.
I know cemeteries are just always annoying with them filling up and stuff, but it will probably fit into like this kind of area. A proper little what's it, a a crematorium crematorium in up there. Elder care. Yeah, this will be a place where probably quite a few older people are. Probably wouldn't get a um, any decent sporting and stuff out here. Firehouse. Pop a big one in down by the train station over here. And then the police. Come over next to the mayor's house. There we go. School. Yeah, a little bit of education. Over there. That should do half the, half the village. I'll pop another one in over here. And a high school. Yeah. And then after education, public transport. Yep. Well, we're going to get a, get our train line connected up. So from over here, all the way in to a station over here. There we go. And back. So we need to name these areas, don't like quickly. So we have this district, which is Prospect District. We're going to go for European Suburbia. And you're going to call it, after a pub near me, Black Dog. Probably not all that PC anymore, but we're going to go for it. And then this will be, well, it's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it, for its name. Ground Island Platform Train Station. No, it's... Black Dog Black Dog Station Black Dog Brian, uh, Station There we go Cool, so then after the transport we need to get some parks and stuff in And clearly this will be a nice little area Ooh, I could put a park in Right down here next to the train station There we go. Now this area should start filling in and we should probably, actually one, there's a few more things that I noticed I needed to do. There's more footpaths through here. There we go, and that can start filling out now, hopefully. Although we have virtually no demand for more residential. But what we do were doing this for was for this area of um, farmland. So we will start doing this area. So that should have the rem remainder of what I need for my, um, what's it called again? Is it in this one? Was it this one? Okay, so this is what I need for the Climate Research Centre. That should have the remaining 1,742 
uh, well, it's quick maths there. I think I've got that right. Um, comment if it isn't. So that should be the remainder of my um, farming specialisation specializ built there. And then we can get the Climate Research Centre built. And then we can move on and get our next um, monument, which I believe was... Where is it? Well, we have the Eden Project. Oh, it'll be... Um, ooh, the Medical Centre, we're nearly there. What's that one? Let's try it to courthouse and have a medical centre. No, but well, yeah, it was the ultimate recycling centre. There it is. Construct this, and we will be dealing with garbage pretty effectively. And talking about dealing with garbage pretty effectively, we probably better get some of that in over here. Have a little. A little recycling centre in over here. Right there in the centre of town. It's not where you'd normally find one in the UK, but we are differentiating it slightly. Okay, we lost that bit there. No wonder the power wasn't connecting over. Come on, we've got industry demand, and yet nothing is building in over here. We'll just give it a bit of time. Maybe this lack of electricity everywhere is hampering it. But come on. Have I broken the electricity anywhere else? No? What? Oh, it just didn't connect in over here, is that what you're just saying? There we go. That should have it now. Please go away. Electricity. Turn on your lights. Work out that you have power. So the first one to do it is the basketball court, where there's probably limited power usage, and they work it out before everywhere else. And they now have electricity. Now that's good. So this train line here, the well, probably three trains is too many, particularly as we're changing it to the commuter train. Get lots of capacity down to two. We need a bluey colour. There we go. I like that one. And then we rename, ah, go, come back, come back. Right, I'll get some electricity over to these. So we were renaming that train line in here. Oh, you've been deleted. Yeah, you're gone. These train lines all need a rename. So line five is Tomato Central to Black Dog. And we'll come back and we'll put those spaces in. One there, one there, enter. Then number four, I forgot what I call this district up here. Oh, it's um, Sawyer's. So that's line four, which is Tomato. Central to So he is. Line three. Okay, it's line two. And let's go into white ball. Wished. 
void pull which means line 3 should be this one over here which is coming all the way over to the Baltic and it's coming via Drew to Baltic to Baltic fire fire three okay there we go what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna be back in a bit but I'm gonna let this run for a bit and hopefully when I come back this will all be powered up over here and we can um, start and we and we can have our next monument put in that is what we want but it's going to take a while for this all to grow so let's just give that an opportunity and I'll be back in a bit let's... okay so I've had to expand this area a little bit and as usual for this city experienced a bit of a fire but we are very nearly at our target we need just 11 more squares of specialization to help encourage this what I did as well was I lowered down our tax revenue for um, zoned industry to try and make to encourage more people to move in and to set, set up farms and stuff and it has worked it did get a few things in like it worked when we did it with the housing earlier Yeah, all we need now is seven more squares. Another thing I did, a little bit of detailing in, like some fences in, some trees, half of them burnt down and stuff, so there's no point showing that lot. And I put a nice little rock embankment along here to stop it slipping into the train line and stuff. Otherwise, I have, haven't done much else in the city. I got rid of some parking, um, I did some intersection marking tool and stuff to make them all look very pretty, lovely jubbly. Uh, I mean, those were already done. But yeah, just sort of little bits and bit, little odds and sods like that. But I think we should now pretty much have it. Yep, there it is. There is our climate research sensor. And I will. How big is that? This should. Come in, I don't know where I'm going to put it actually. Hmm. There we go. Let's come off that and let's see what it looks like. Ah. Yes. I kind of feel that that little dome and stuff like that. Yeah, this should be surrounded by lots of countryside. I like it where it is though. It'll stay where it is. But we will just clean up the countryside around it and this slopiness here slopiness it's bad wordage I know but actually the lecky is jumping over here this can all go and it's will help sort out my slopiness sort out the slopage for this section here So that's all looking much better and we can now think about putting our mega uber super duper recycling center in up over here I think the I, the plan was somewhere there we go one massive recycling center pops in it might move around to somewhere else but this probably all needs filling in with the bits of industry and stuff um, I might do a little, little bit of zone and then do some forestry in down over here anyway let's have one more look over here see how this district's getting on it's growing nicely what I will do 
And what I was always planning to do was having a couple of little bits of high density in down here, so this oak district will change. So there we go, that should have that oak growing up. And our oak district we will put in here modern city centre. It's all going to be new, but we're going to ban those high rises. High rise ban, done. Cool. Put some footy paths in so people can walk around down here. There we go. Lovely jubbly. The one thing I meant to change in here, but this was. Oh, people here aren't happy. Black dog. Uh, black dog down. Black, black dog hails. There we go. I'm going to put one small little bus route in around here. Can you start down here? Where are you in here, bus? Probably gone past it, haven't I? Oh no, right down the bottom, line 29. Black dog, no, black. Black, black dog bus. There probably won't be any more buses coming in here. Don't really need to. It'll be a nice, cheerful yellow. And we're gonna just stick with the standard bus. I don't think we need a bigger one. That should be perfect. Okay, so that's been a fairly successful episode. Um, we have our new little town here, just developing nicely. Um, black dogs growing up. This station looks cool. I've not used these very often, these ground level ones, island ones. I tend to try and go bigger and stuff, but I quite like it. I love the detail of everyone just walking across that bridge. Anyway, this is where I'm going to leave it for this episode. We've had another very productive one. They say this town is growing up. We've got our climate research centre, and then we've got the ultimate recycling centre. So, yeah, fun times. I have multiple plans for our next couple of episodes. One involves doing what this map was always intended to getting an airport in and more tourists and another one is the development of another little town down on the coast and having some more freight to ports coming in to start carrying more goods out of my city anyway i will make my mind up on that when i get there for now this is where i leave it and i'll say goodbye to you enjoy the rest of your day have a good weekend and i'll see you again in the next one ciao